I was on up to 13 meds, um, and you just can't function. Um, I would be in the bed all day. Um. Teresa Baumgartel has battled hypertension since the birth of her daughter seven years ago. Of the more than 50 million Americans living with high blood pressure, about 20 percent of those, like Baumgartel, have resistant hypertension, or blood pressure that can't be controlled with regular medications. And not only is their blood pressure difficult to treat, it's often severe at times, and so and it's often been uh, poorly controlled for long periods of time. And so they are at increased risk of, um, of complications, so heart attack, stroke, uh, kidney, kidney damage. Researchers at UAB are testing a new implantable device called the RIOS. It is designed to lower blood pressure by sending electrical signals to the baroreflex, which controls the body's blood pressure system. This device seems to uh, significantly affect the blood pressure uh, and um, it may offer considerable benefit in the future. The device consists of the generator and two leads that are surgically implanted and wrapped around the carotid arteries where the baroreceptors are located. What this device does is sort of dampen that overactivation, if you will, by stimulating uh, receptors in the neck that typically um, tell the brain uh, to, to increase sympathetic activity, it helps blunt or dampen that, that message to the brain and so the sympathetic activity seemingly comes down. And with that, uh, the blood pressure uh, comes down. While the study is still ongoing, researchers are hopeful that the results will lead to a better treatment therapy for patients with high blood pressure. Uh, but if it's effective treating the hardest blood pressure problems, then effectively uh, you hope that translates to being more of a, a routine type therapy. I'm glad that I'm being able to be part of something that can help people in the future that it wasn't available to me a long time ago. This has been six and a half years that I've been so sick and this is, there's a light at the end of my tunnel now.